Hi, welcome to my next video. This is a follow-up to the video in which I tried to recreate the watercolor set used by Hayao Miyazaki. Right now you can see me sketching digitally the illustration that I will be painting with the set. First I did a detailed sketch in Procreate and then I tested the colors I had in mind in Photoshop. I did this because this was going to be a cover for a magazine and I had to send it to the editor. But in the end another idea that I had got accepted, so I got to use this one as I pleased. And I thought it would be a nice one to test the watercolor set because of the bright colors it has. This picture is based on a space that's in front of the Okuma Kodo, so the Okuma Auditorium that's uh, a part of the Waseda University. And as you know we lived near the university for some time and I wanted to paint this space a lot of times because it's re really nice and has some interesting buildings. But there's always something there and there's always something going on there. I was chased out from there once and there's always buses coming and events happening so it's really hard to just stand there and, and paint. I remembered it a little bit and I used some photos to recreate this place and because of the events and the students always carrying stuff around and getting ready for something I wanted to do characters like this. But I wanted to kind of reimagine them a little bit, I don't know, 20, 40 years before. So I inserted some retro elements, like the clothes they wear are a little bit different, and the car in the back is an old car. But the main reason I chose to paint this place is the huge Icho tree, so the Ginkgo tree and it gets beautiful and golden in the autumn. So I'm really happy that I could at last paint it. After completing the digital sketch, I printed only the lines and traced them with a tracing table uh, to the paper I will be painting on. I then scanned the lines once so I can put them on top of the finished painting, as I always do, to make the pencil line work more visible. I then taped the paper to a board to make it warp a little bit less. This paper is also kind of special because this is one page of a sketchbook that actually Hayao Miyazaki uses. You can see him using it in the documentaries about how Ponyo was made. Probably for most of his paintings and sketches and concept arts he uses a different paper that comes in sheets because that's what you can see in the documentary movie. But he also uses this sketchbook so I wanted to try it out. As you know, I also use the ceramic tank, the same as he uses, just a little bit smaller, probably the same maker. So I already had the tank and the paper and the paints, so why not just go all out on this. So Kana managed actually to track down and buy the brushes that are included in the watercolor set sold in Studio Ghibli Museum. So the brushes that Hayao Miyazaki recommended for the set. Also, actually, the pencils that I used are the Mitsubishi Hayuni, so the pencils that I know he uses and a lot of Studio Ghibli animators use. So I think for now this is the closest we can get to painting a sketch with the same tools that Hayao Miyazaki uses. We can get any closer just by taking his tools, probably. Just forgive me if I'm boring here, but I was kind of excited for this. Okay, so the picture is nearly done. You can see it in more details on my blog as usual. But in the second part of this video I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the tools I used. I know you are interested in this. The previous part of this video was kind of popular on my channel, so here they are. I based this on the photos I could find, the documentary movies and also the watercolor set sold by Studio Ghibli Museum. And here you can see all the tools that I used in this video. So first are the paints and the Holbein watercolors are really great. I used them for my Bicycle Boy series, so I tested them a lot. They are smooth, easy to pick up and give vibrant colors. This set has a good interesting choice of colors, it was a pleasure to paint with it. There are a lot of beautiful blues and earth tones, I would just add more variations of red to it. The brushes I used are the same as included in the Studio Ghibli watercolor set and they are natural hair brushes, round, with really sharply tapered ends and I used here the Show and Chew brushes from the series, so the small and the middle sized. The brushes for their price, about $6 for the small one, perform really good. They hold a lot of water but the end is really sharp so they require a little bit getting used to, but I definitely want to use them more. The tank is awesome, I used it for a few years now and we bought another one for Kana. This is perfect for studio watercolor painting. And finally the last is the paper and I don't recommend this at all. This is not good for watercolors, maybe for sketching, but not watercolors. Okay, and finally, a little bit of a surprise for you. I know that a lot of you bought the watercolors and completed Miyazaki's set. 
So I will be putting the lines of this illustration online for you to download so you can print it and trace it and color it with your set. The link for the download is below the video. It will be really interesting to see your results. I will be probably using the brushes and the watercolor set on other illustrations so you will see more of it in the future. I will be also putting links and names of the tools I used here in the description so you can look for them on the internet. That's it for this video. As always feel free to comment, share and subscribe. You can also support me on Patreon now. See you in the next one. Bye.